In seal number one, we have a rider on a white horse, given a bow and a crown, riding to conquer and to complete his conquest. Now some may be wondering, yeah, he's got a bow and he's got a crown, but where are his arrows? When we go to Deuteronomy chapter 32 and Ezekiel chapter 5, we learn that Jesus' arrows are seal 2, the sword, seal 3, famine, and seal 4, sword, famine, pestilence, and wild beast. And so Jesus is not missing his arrows at all. His arrows are seal 2, seal 3, and seal 4. To the world and Christians disconnected from God's word, this is going to seem like the end. But at Matthew 24, verse 8, Jesus referred to this time period as just the beginning of birth pangs, or the beginning of sorrows. In addition to Revelation chapter 6, there are five other places in the Bible where God mentions sword, famine, pestilence, and wild beast in combination in the same chapter. In these five other places, God offers his instructions, encouragement, reasons, and food in due season for those alive during this time period. One amazing fact is that in all five of these occurrences, God's not firing these arrows at the world. In all five places, God's targeting his people. This emphasizes the need for us to repent before the beginning of birth pangs. Otherwise, we may find ourselves a target of God's arrows. 1 Peter 4.17 says, For it is time for judgment to begin, not with the world, but at the household of God.